Hey there, how are you doing? This is Ash from Fetch Profits. In this video, I want to talk about something that's very important for any kind of a lead generation campaign, but in specific to opt-in monster campaigns. When you create campaigns with opt-in monster, you just don't want to create any other pop-up or slide-in or an inline opt-in form or an after-block post opt-in form or a welcome gate that is not relevant. You want your offers to be as relevant as possible to the people who are on your website right now. So Optin Monster gives you a ton of options that you could use to make sure that your campaigns are as relevant as they can get. So you can probably base your campaigns based on the visitor's date or time. You could have your campaign show up for each of these following cases and determine exactly when, where and how your campaigns are showing up for your visitors. So let's say your visitors are browsing on your pricing page. You could have a particular campaign created to show up only when visitors are on that page and with, a, with an offer that's absolutely bang on to that visitor who's on that page right now. Or if you want to make sure that you want to show a campaign only to people who have invested enough time and effort to browse your pages, you might want to choose the second option that says visitor has viewed X pages. Or you want to make sure that you are showing a particular kind of an offer for people on a very specific device. If they're on mobile, you might want to use some kind of an offer and if they're on desktop, you might want to use some kind of an offer. Or you have a particular campaign running already and you want to make sure that you want to show another campaign, think of it as a follower campaign, to show it only to people who've already signed up for a particular offer. So let's say somebody signed up for my lead generation offer and I want to make a very special offer only to those people who signed up for that lead gen offer, right? So let's say I want to give away three videos for those specific subscribers. Then I might want to use this option where it says visitor has interacted with the campaign. Now, do I want to show the same offer to people who have visited for the first time or visited multiple times? Or if they're coming in from the US or Ukraine or India or China, you might want to change the way you make your offers, right? So you can also choose visitors from a physical location. If you want to make sure that you're addressing where they're coming from, like, hey, Twitter user or hey, Facebook user, you can add this option that says visitors from a specific traffic source or visitors from a specific URL parameter. Or if there are people who are using ad blocks, which is frequently the case now, you could also have another campaign that shows up only for those users. People are already cookied. You could, you could have them see another campaign altogether or a specific URL anchor tag. So there are lots of display rules available here that you create. This is a part of the default rule set on Optin Monster. You can create your completely new rule set exactly the way you want for that particular campaign. So let's say you want the campaign to be only shown to people from the United States who have already browsed X amount of pages on your website and they're all on iOS or maybe they're all on mobile and they're all returning visitors. So let's say you want to specify a very specific set of rules. You could do that with an additional rule set and set up your own rules for that campaign. So that's something that makes Optin Monster terrific and allows you to create very, very relevant and specific campaigns that you can boost your conversion rates. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in another one.